How to build a 7 GPU mining rig for mining cryptocurrencies such as Ethereum, Zcash, and whatever else you can mine with the GPU. This is what I'm going to be using to put together the 7 GPU mining rig. I have 7 USB PCI risers, a 2000 watt power supply which I already had. I would have preferred to probably have two separate PSUs, but right now I have this and this one has nine eight pin power connectors so I can hook up all the GPUs with this and test it out and I might switch it to in the near future. I have a 4790K and I got this again for future use. I might have other uses for this in the future to test things, fool around with things. So I got that. I have too many 1840s and 3258s so you know, SSD. 16 gigabytes of memory again for future use. I just want to make sure I have enough if I want to do other things, test things out. So I got 16. Network cable, front USB panel for easier connectivity while it's on the shelf. And a Z97 Gaming 5 MSI motherboard that has 7 PCIe lanes, 4 1 times and 3 16 times. And down here I've got the 7 Nitro graphics cards, 470s and 480s. There's 6 470s and 1 480. And I might switch to uh, water cooling the CPU with this because I already have this. It's an extra laying around. So I'll probably hook it up today with the stock cooler, but I might switch it to this cooler. So I've attached all the GPUs now. And I just attached them with ties here. So I'll cut off the uh, leftover. But just so you see how they're attached to the shelf, it's pretty easy, pretty simple, and works. Somebody had asked me what I use to mount my motherboards, and I simply use a piece of PVC uh, plastic that I've cut down, cut a hole out for the CPU, and it's the shape of the board. So what I do is I carefully uh, center the board, and then I take a small screwdriver and just put that into the center of the hole and push down on the board to leave a mark. And after I've left my mark, I take the screwdriver and push it into the hole even further so that I can then fit some motherboard mounting screws in there and mount my board directly onto there. Push in the screwdriver into all of the motherboard holes to mark my PVC board so that I can put the motherboard mounting screws into the board. Just push down, screw it a little bit, leave a good mark so when I take the board off it's easy to push your screw in the hole. So I've taken the board off after finishing marking all the holes. Now I'll just kind of take my screwdriver and push and screw it into the hole to make a hole the motherboard mounting screws. This screwdriver is a little bit thinner than the diameter of the bottom of the screws so when I put the screws in they'll be nice and tight. So just kind of dig it in and then screw the screws in and they're nice and tight they don't come out easy. Do it to all the different holes I just had this board laying around, so I cut some up. I use it for all my motherboards since I had a couple big pieces of it. It's cheap, it's free because I already had it, and it's effective, it works, looks alright. Easy to use, easy to set up. Just make sure you get those screws in there good if you're going to do it like this, and it should be good to go. There we go. So now it's all screwed up and ready to go. I'm going to mount my motherboard onto the screws there and start screwing in the motherboard.
That's the last screw. So now we're all done. We've got the motherboard screwed in. It's in solid. Put the CPU in. We've got an i7 4790K here. Now you can use a cheaper CPU if you're just mining with the GPUs, but I wanted a CPU so that I could try CPU mining some things also. Multi-purpose. Here I'm going to put on the heat sink. Now I'll probably change it to a better heat sink later if I want to try and overclock this and mine with an overclock CPU. I'm not sure if that's really a great idea, but I could try it out. But for now I'm just going to mount this puppy on there and there we go. It's on. Plug it in. Plugged in. Now I'll put my DDR3 memory in. So I've got the board in position here, ready to start plugging in all the power and GPUs. I'll hook up my SSD. Plug in the SATA connection, plug in the power connection for it. Cables can be quite a mess, so I try and tidy them up as much as I can. Plug in the audio, USB, power, restart. Get my motherboard cable plugged in. CPU 8 pin. And this power supply has two CPU 8 pins and nine uh, 8 pins for VGA. So now I'll go ahead and plug in all of the graphics cards, put my 8 pins straight into there. If I could do it again or if I could do it all from scratch, I would use two PSUs. I'm only using this one because I already had it and I didn't want to have to buy PSUs just for this to go. I thought I would try this first. But I would recommend getting two PSUs so that you have extra Molex connectors so that you can connect the PCIe risers better, safer. This is a little bit more dangerous, but I thought I would just do it anyway. And I still might switch to two PSUs. I might reuse this for another PC. We'll have to see. So there we go. We're all plugged in. Just tidy that up. And start to put the PCIe risers on. A little bit of a pain to getting in there. But once you got them on, they're on. So I didn't have too many Molex connectors, and I only have five free uh, six pin ports on the power supply, so I do have to double up a little bit. Again, that's why I would prefer to use two PSUs. But this is what I got to start off, fire it up, so I'm going to do it. Used a few SATA connectors there, which I would prefer to use the Molex connectors again, but got to do what you got to do. Tidy those cables up a little bit. But then again, these Sapphire Nitro cards draw most of their core power from the 8-pin power connector, so they're not as much to worry about as a fire hazard, as your SATA connector is melting. My SATA connectors never get hot, barely even like warm I would say, so I'm, I'm not really that worried about it. And that's why I would recommend these Sapphire cards over any of the other ones. That's all done. I can start plugging in the USB cables for the PCIe risers. Those are 50 centimeter USB cables. My cards are maybe a little bit higher than most people put, so I need the 50cm. Couldn't use 30cm, it would kind of be tight. We got those all in there. Start to plug them into the board.
I plug in my network cable, and then of course a mouse and a keyboard. I got to set this thing up. Set my CPU memory has changed. Got my poster in here. So I'm gonna go ahead, set this up, fix up my BIOS, and install Windows, and I'll be back. So here you can see all seven GPUs are showing up in Windows, which is great. So I'm going to go ahead and launch Claymore's Miner to test it out with Ethereum Mining here, see if it shows up. And they do. All seven cards show up. And all seven cards build the DAG. And they all mine. So that's awesome seven GPUs mining on one rig, really one rig, one motherboard. Did a quick test on Genoil's miner and it also sees all seven GPUs and uses all seven GPUs. So that's just really awesome. Happy I got this thing working and happy it's mine and so I hope you liked the video I hope it helped and thanks for watching